It has been one of the most divisive topics during the pandemic to mask or not to mask. Now, after a month since Governor DeWine's statewide mask mandate, Three News investigator Rachel Polanski checked out the impact. And while the results are promising, Ohio's caseload remains a concern. The great mask debate has been marred in controversy these past six months. Early on, masks were in high demand, snapped up from store shelves, leaving frontline workers scrambling. There are different people do things for different reasons. Few remember Governor DeWine's first statewide mask mandate. It lasted just one day in April, rescinded after public blowback. But as deaths mounted and the virus spread, masks slowly took on greater importance. Fast forward to now, and science has largely settled the issue. Buying in took time. We had some people that were wearing a mask because we told them, hey, that's how you care for your neighbor, wear a mask. Others really needed a mandate to say, tell me to wear a mask, and they wore a mask. And then some others won't wear a mask no matter what you do. So let's look at the data. Cases began rising again in June, despite weeks of widespread testing. That's why on July 23rd, Governor Mike DeWine issued the current mask mandate. And now, one month into that mandate, Ohio's cases are down 30%. At least if we can reduce those. Dr. Thomas File, who specializes in infectious disease for SUMA and Neomed, says hospitalizations have also dropped. And because testing numbers remain flat, he credits masks and renewed public awareness as factors for the decline. And so I think that is an important aspect. I mean, in addition, obviously, of reducing distancing and importantly, reducing mass gatherings. I mean, I think that has been a major uh, problem, particularly earlier in the summer. Ohio is not the only state seeing a drop in COVID-19 cases. Former hotspots like Florida, Texas, and Arizona are reporting similar decreases. The common thread among them all, mass mandates and restrictions on social gatherings. Now, I also talked with other health leaders in our area. To hear what they had to say about this, you can head on over to WKYC.com and click on the Investigations tab. Rachel Polanski, 3 News.